why we're decorating so early for Christmas. I know it's a little early, but what can I say? I'm just in the Christmas spirit early this year. Don't worry though, I haven't forgotten about Thanksgiving. I'm glad you haven't forgotten, cause I'm ready for all the Thanksgiving fixings. Turkey, cornbread, cranberry sauce, I just can't wait. Oh yes, I have the menu ready and waiting. A helping hand would greatly be appreciated. Of course, Mom. Me and Diamond are ready and willing to help you with whatever you need. Want to know a fun fact about Thanksgiving I learned the other day? Yeah, go ahead. Tell us. The first ever Thanksgiving took place in 1621. Wait, that's almost 400 years of Thanksgiving. Turkey 400 times? Mmm. Actually, we're not really sure what was served during the first Thanksgivings. Lucky, I'm sure you learned more about Thanksgiving. Why don't you tell us? Okay, if you insist. In September 1620, a ship left England with a group of people who wanted their own religious freedoms. And they sought a new home in the New World, which is currently the Americas. The journey itself was 66 days long and very dangerous. They landed their ship, the Mayflower, near modern day Cape Cod, which was farther north than they were trying to land. Where did they originally want to land? Their intended destination was at the mouth of the Hudson River. Oh, they weren't that far off. A month later, they started making their own little village which they named Plymouth. Isn't it true that many of the colonists didn't make it that first winter? You're right, Mom. Many of the colonists didn't get off the boat at first because they were sick and the winter was very harsh. Only half of the original settlers survived to see spring that year. In March, they finally went on land and were visited by an Abenaki Native American who actually spoke English. They soon were introduced to Squanto, another Native American who spoke English and had spent time in Europe. Wait, he spent time in Europe? How did that happen? Squanto's story is very interesting. Maybe, Diamond, you can do some research on Squanto's journey and tell us all about it. I think I will. It seems very interesting. From what I know, it really is. Squanto taught the settlers, who we call pilgrims, how to survive by getting food from the land, fishing in rivers, and to identifying dangers like poisonous plants. Through Squanto, a friendship was made between the Wampanoag, the local Native American tribe, and the pilgrims. It's nice to see that the two groups were able to become friends. Yep. And in 1621, the pilgrims had a harvest festival after their first successful corn harvest, and they invited their Native American friends. It lasted three days. This was considered the first Thanksgiving. It's important to remember that the first Thanksgiving had a huge religious significance. The settlers gave thanks to the bountiful harvest for their friendship with the Wampanoag Native Americans, who helped them learn the skills they needed to survive. Thanksgiving celebrations continued as Americans gave thanks to things like the American Revolution. That's right. Actually, New York was the first state to have an official annual Thanksgiving celebration. You're right about that, Mom. And in 1863, during the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday. See, I would have never known that about Thanksgiving. Thanks for the info, Lucky. You're welcome, anytime. I just can't wait to learn more about Squanto. I've already started looking him up. I love your enthusiasm, dear Diamond, but let's finish putting up these decorations first. Okay, Mom, if you say so. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Psalms chapter 107 verses 8 and 9. 